I don't need to be motivated because I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to do something, I'm going to do it. Every action you take is molding who you are as a person. Every time that you sleep in. Every time you are undisciplined, you are training yourself that it's okay. A downward spiral towards mediocrity. You are exactly where you deserve to be. Change who you are and you will change how you live. If I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. Men are not designed to be comfortable. They want to achieve. They want to feel pain and suffering. They want to conquer something. The person who goes to the gym every day regardless of how they feel will always beat the person who goes to the gym when they feel like going to the gym. The immovable object beats the unstoppable force. The immovable object requires less energy. Efficiency always wins. Emotional control isn't a lack of emotion, it's a necessary function of maturity. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. I could never stop fighting even if I lost 100 fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. For 12 years I trained 5 hours per day, 6 days per week, and I was motivated to train probably 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. Sadness is a warning. You feel it for a reason. Your mind is telling you that you need to work harder. The average man doesn't try very hard. So if you try very hard, it's impossible to be average. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be, or you're never going to be anything. A good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. You've got to do something and you've got to do something fast. You just sitting around talking about it and hoping for things to get better isn't going to do anything. Most people see other people with things they want and don't do the second half. They don't try to work out how they got that thing. Discipline is the key to success. Absolutely is. If you cannot force yourself to do something that you do not want to do, how are you ever gonna put yourself through the suffering required for greatness? I'm very happy that my life has been difficult because it's impossible to become a capable man without struggling, facing serious adversities, and overcoming insurmountable odds. People who train every day do not want to train every day. They are not motivated to train every day. They have something else, they are disciplined. Have you taken advantage of the few things you actually control? Or are you still hoping to just get lucky? My unmatched perspicacity coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. You need to understand that in this world there's a whole bunch of people doing amazing things that you are not doing. And that needs to piss you off. Think of all of the amazing things you could have accomplished by now if you weren't brutally lazy. Imagine all of the time you wasted, every opportunity you let pass by, all the good advice you arrogantly ignored. If you were your creator, would you not be disgusted as well? Maybe you're broke. Maybe you're out of shape. Maybe you just want a different life altogether. 
This depression you feel is the key to everything you want to change. Your life can be like a movie. The mundane, the boring, the average, your life doesn't need to be this way. But every good movie has some sort of risk, and the heroes of the story are willing to take them. Are you? You are organized, fast, and systematized. You stop doing things that you know are a waste of time. You stop acting based on emotional whims. Imagine that version of yourself. Imagine what that person accomplishes in a year. You are exactly where you deserve to be. Poor. Then money isn't your problem, your brain is the problem. You are the reason for your own poverty.